Hi, my name is Akinwale Akindia. You're welcome to my channel. Uh, kindly press the, the subscribe, subscribe button so that you can get uh, more videos from me. I want to look at SWOT analysis, a case study of global fintech uh, industry. Uh, so what is fintech? According to Investopedia, financial technology, fintech is used to describe new tech that seeks to improve and automates the delivery and use of financial services. So we have the, the traditional banking system, uh, the mortgage uh, provider, the retail banking uh, services uh, provider, uh, the commercial banking, investment banking provider uh, services. So you, you have all these uh, traditional banking systems whereby you have to go to uh, a brick and mortar office for you to get the banking services. And uh, of recent, we've had a change uh, from that uh, uh, paradigm to another level of paradigm. And uh, I think uh, one of the boosters of uh, this uh, fintech phenomena is probably uh, internet banking. That is my uh, own uh, uh, view. So when traditional banking started internet banking and uh, people started initiating banking transactions uh, from their own. They can check balances, they can uh, uh, make, uh, give instructions uh, to, to, to issue their checks. They can do functions far from the comfort of their own. It started giving some young guys the idea that, wow, that means it's possible uh, to actually run a bank uh, without uh, having a physical presence. And uh, today we now have uh, uh, financial technology uh, in the mainstream of financial service provide uh, uh, provision uh, all over the world. So uh, that's a little background on uh, FinTech. So we look at SWOT analysis. What is SWOT analysis? So SWOT analysis simply stands uh, for strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats uh, of an organization. So when you do SWOT analysis, you want to know what the strengths of the organization uh, are, what, the, what are the weaknesses. So strengths and weaknesses are internal. This takes me to the organization. While opportunities and threats are external to the organization. So strengths are what you have within the organization that could serve as a leverage for you for competitive advantage. And that's what those strengths will be used to enhance opportunities outside the organization. Then you are witnesses. So witnesses are vulnerabilities within the organization uh, that could be exploited by threats outside the organization. So in strategy formulation, in uh, setting business direction, in setting business goals, business strategy, uh, a good director, a good uh, CEO, uh, want to perform you know, this SWOT analysis so that we be able to create uh, a roadmap for the organization. So let's look at SWOT analysis in, in terms of uh, you know, the people, the globally. So the, the strengths of people uh, relatively set up for. So like the same way you have to raise so much money for you to start uh, a traditional banking. For example, in Nigeria right now, for you to have uh, a national banking license, you have to have a capitalization of minimum of 25 billion. Okay? For you to say you want to start banking business in Nigeria, so you need to raise 25 billion as capital. And that just means the, 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 the shareholders uh, uh, fund. So that you see the other needs here and there. So compared to a fintech, uh, which basically is you, know, you get approval, they will have an app, they will do your marketing, and you can go live. Then uh, another strength is uh, we, we, we the available technology uh, now so that can actually strengthen and uh, enable the fintech operations, so like blockchain, and artificial intelligence, programming languages are all over the place. And you have a young and innovative executive 
uh, who are very, very literate and who are also very conversant with this technology. So you have a CFO, a CTO, a CEO that can analyze blockchain, analyze artificial intelligence, that can code, even though they are executive. So all these uh, strengths for the financial technology industry globally. So you have people, young people that uh, with ideas, they can actually turn ideas into innovation in a matter of uh, weeks, days, or even uh, months, or, or within a stage of, 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 of the year. So all these are internal strengths that uh, uh, printed uh, us. Well, let's look at the weaknesses, privacy concerns. Okay, because most of these uh, fintech uh, technologies that deploy or have and apps you know, work on uh, mobile uh, phones, uh, their intelligent fears are not completely unjustified that uh, the, uh, the information to be, to be used against uh, the customers. Okay, some of these, uh, some of the employees of the fintech industry, right, can. Uh, you know, abuse the uh, information, the high load of information available uh, to them. So that is a uh, one weakness uh, in the fintech industry. Then uh, still tied to the privacy concern, there is possibility of electronic fraud search. So all manner of young people uh, are part of these projects, uh, these uh, fintech uh, uh, search globally, and some of them, you know, may start uh, succumbing to the temptation of using the huge uh, data uh, assets they have to start committing uh, crimes. They have access to so many things uh, behind the the front uh, end of the, the application. So there is possibility that uh, uh, the fintech uh, industry to be abused and uh, you can start with an impact witnessing uh, a surge of electronic fraud cases uh, being perpetrated by some of the, uh, uh, the, the internal employees of the fintech uh, company. Then, you know, there is also the challenge of learning for it's a relatively new industry. So people are learning and relearning and because of that, they have the mistake, they have the error, they have the, so they have the avoidable losses uh, sometime uh, in the in the fintech uh, operation. So these are witnesses that uh, we should be aware of in uh, the fintech industry. Then the opportunities, the opportunities, opportunities are those there. We have tech savvy millennials, so you have young people that understand technology, once you can market it, explain. Uh, if in a way they, they, you know, they can understand, they are ready to go, they are ready to try, they are eager to try new technology. So that is an opportunity for fintech. Uh, decreasing cost of internet. So globally, uh, you see cost of uh, um, having internet access is decreasing, and that is a threat for the fintech industry. Increasing pool of young programmers and data analysts. So you can always Get people. So when it comes to labor force, that is not a problem. Uh, we have all manner of languages, programmers, you know, outside there that are eager to work. Increasing mobile and smartphone penetration. So you, you go to the new areas, you only go in and start to see a thing, you see people uh, in the extreme part of the world using phone, using tablets and the rest. Then uh, you have emerging economy. Say in Brazil, in Africa, Asia. So you see countries are emerging as a global economic powers. Then uh, you have increasing population too. You have the global population also increasing and uh, boosting the opportunities uh, for fintech uh, in the nearest uh, future. So the, the opportunity the future is quite bright for the fintech industry. Yeah, look at the threat. So we have actors out there, you know, waiting to disrupt operations, uh, steal uh, identities, 
still uh, uh, customer data uh, and even you know, uh, make the customers to lose money and, and the rest. So uh, everybody that wants to go into FinTech should be prepared for that. The competition, uh, even though it's a relatively new, new business, the market is getting crowded. So you have, you come up with an idea before you know it, two months, three months after that, somebody will uh, the same idea and the market is getting set. Then excessive borrowing among customers. So you see many of these people are uh, giving us credits uh, without giving in your house, without giving uh, really money give personally. So you just download the app, you know, filling packet information, you have to answer. You guys can collect from A, B, C, D, 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 and the rest like that. And before you know it, you can become you know, insolvent and uh, the money will become irrecoverable. So that is one challenge. Then OSTAR regulatory environment, because it is a relatively new industry, uh, some governments and the regulatory bodies, they are skeptical about it, and there may be temptation to roll out policies uh, that may actually be injurious to the industry. Uh, then uh, entries of traditional banks. So the traditional banks do may not show their hand uh, while the young uh, guys are taking over the uh, financial services space. So you can see the traditional banks with you know their huge uh, financial workers uh, also uh, coming into the industry and if they are not taking the most of the new uh, entrants into the uh, industry. So these are the threats that are likely to be encountered in the fintech industry. So uh, SWOT and strategy development, new entrants and established fintechs must continuously review their SWOT analysis to create and maintain an effective business strategy. So you don't perform SWOT just for the sake of performing SWOT, you perform SWOT so that you can be able to you know, create a, a business strategy and modify the business strategy as uh, there is need. So it is very important as an organization uh, that is thinking of going to fintech, uh, that's already an established fintech uh, organization to continuously perform, regularly review this uh, analysis so that you can better position yourself uh, to be relevant in the market. 